So let's go in here and check and see if any oil is uh, coming up on the beaches uh, and into the marshes. So let's check it out. Well, I really was inspired uh, about the environment and, and the ocean in particular through Jacques Cousteau. He was just somebody that had a passion for water and, and the oceans. And I really felt strongly that art could play a really important role in the effort to protect the ocean and the water planet. And I've been on that mission my whole life. You know, you go out and you're with people that are seeing things for the first time and that are experiencing the situation down here for the first time. And so it keeps us fresh. Um, and uh, it's also inspirational, you know, to to have these folks come down and know that they're going to be able to share it um, in different ways uh, that complement what we're doing. Of course, you know, like everybody else, I'm watching the media and, oh, there's no more oil, everything's fine. That really didn't add up for me, you know. When I s started looking at it a little deeper, I said, I need to get back down there because I know a lot of that oil was dispersed and is in the, the water column from the deep ocean, you know, just below the surface. It's really been uh, out of sight up until now, until we came up upon this beach. And uh, now we're finding tar balls, finding thick oil just below the mud of the uh, salt flats. There's plenty of oil here in the Gulf region. Let me get a shot with you. You're awesome. Yeah. That's what you got in there. Here, let me see. So you went in there and kind of... Uh, take that with your glove. Okay, no problem. I got a glove. I got a glove right here. Okay. Right there. Okay. You ready? There we are. But to me, uh, as the disaster diminishes in the media, um, people are starting to forget about it already. And same old, same old, let's go back and get some more oil. No, that needs to stop. What we need to do is put all our resources, all our energy, all our technology into new energy, clean energy uh, for the future. Are we going to invest in the past or are we going to invest in the future? So that's up to us to have one voice to speak together.